What is going on guys? Welcome to the first fly tying video of this channel. Today we're going to start it off easy. We're going to do a pretty basic fly, just a simple salmon attractor pattern. I like to use it for coho and bull trout around that time of the year, you know, September till mid-December. You'll find me fishing these. They're super easy to tie, super quick. I can tie, you know, I can bang out about 20 of these in, in an hour. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's a little exaggeration, but I can do, do a lot of these in a short amount of time. I can... When I lose flies, it's not really that painful. I can give them to buddies and let's admit, I'm not the greatest fly tire, so these are perfect. Let's get it started. What I'm gonna be tying on today is I'm just gonna be using a Mustad size eight streamer hook. They come in 50 packs for like, I don't know, 10 bucks, pretty cheap. Where I'm at, we like to fish barbless, so I'm gonna use my vise here to pinch my barb. I don't recommend doing that. Will mess up the jaws. All right, now I'm going to use black thread today, so I'm just going to tie it in behind the eye, work it all the way back. A little fancy, just focuses the bend of the hook, and then we'll cut that off. I'm just kidding. I forgot to put the bead on. See, I'm telling you. Rookie mistakes. Rookie mistakes, guys. I'm sorry. We'll get this fixed. Don't worry. We'll get it fixed quick. No problems here. No problems here. All right. And now, now we'll wrap that just behind the bead there. All the way back. First one we're gonna tie with some of this copper UV chenille. Nice stuff. Fishies love it. Comes in like just a big bunch like this. You can just cut a little piece off. I don't know, say four inches or so. magic happens guys it's super complicated so you don't want to miss a thing all right we just wrap and as we wrap forward we're going to pull the strands back so they don't get too caught up and we're gonna wrap this one layer after another pull them back as we go We'll tie it off. Couple behind. Couple in front for good luck. And then we're gonna cut her. Boom. Just tuck all that. Stuff in there. Make sure that bead's sitting there nice and tight. Now we're gonna do the magic. This is where the real magic happens. Two whip finishes because I'm not going to add any head cement to this one. Two whips and a snip. That's basically it. Super easy, super effective. Coho love them, bull trout love them, trout love them. Yeah, he's just a great all around fly. I would definitely recommend having a few of these in the box. We're going to tie another one up quickly. We're going to use some of this blue stuff, another good color. Alright, now we're going to tie up a nice blue one here, same uh, same material, just different color. We'll finish that, maybe. Whip. Alright, 
no whip finish, double, we, no cement, so we double whip finish, cut, and there it is, beauty. You're ready to go, you're ready to go. You're gonna hammer those bulls, you're gonna hammer those salmon, let's go. Thanks for watching guys. Now, if you guys wanna see more of these videos, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Turn those post notifications on, you know the drill. Let's get it.